be joined by manager Luke Garrard before uh, we host Barnet at home tomorrow. Um, a busy week for you, Luke, off the pitch with two new signings, Chris Bush and also Cameron Cox. Can you just give us a word on those players and, and how they, that business came about? With Coxie, obviously, we, we loaned him um, until the January window. Something that we discussed with Colchester trying to make it a permanent. Coxie's enjoyed his short time with us and felt that we are the club that he'd want to come and have his a little bit longer term career with. He's someone that I think coming our building has done ever so well um, on and off the pitch. I love him as an individual. I think he's brilliant for the shape that we play. And he's a good age. He's just turned 24. So knows the level, played the level above, and he's someone that we feel that can kick us on. In terms of Bushy, that one's been bubbling quite a long time. Obviously, he's having his bits with Bromley in terms of getting signed off, and it was just about getting him in at the right time. We had him walking around the club early on this week, and he's very much in the mould of what I'm about as a manager and a player. He leaves it all out there. He's full throttle, um, he's driven, he's hungry. So, for me, I think he's going to be a great addition. We are obviously in the market for two or three others. Yes, we are obviously looking to get goals into the team. We're not silly in terms of we know that that's an area needs to improve on, but that's across the board. Responsibility of the front line, it's a responsibility of everyone across the board. You get a clean sheet, that's a team clean sheet. You get goals, it's a, a goal for everyone. Like, like I say, suggesting getting center offs getting up into the 18 yard box and attacking with intent when there's opportunities to do so. Yeah, obviously, I uh, lost um, last minute last week, uh, Boxing Day. Have you had time to reflect on that game and how have your preparations gone ahead for this game? Obviously, because obviously we got Barnet back to back. Um, we done a, a post and a pre on the Wednesday. We went through the whole game, got the analysts to clip the whole game in game. So it was only about a 52 minute video but it wasn't to punish anyone it was very much to show where we were good in early stages and good at the back end of the game and how that looked and why we were good in them spells and how we needed to manage the game better with the six minutes going up on the board um yeah there's bits that we were really pleased with there were bits that we need to improve on we've addressed that we've had three really good sessions to identify where their strengths are, because they do have a lot of strengths. Like I said, they're 45% of their goals come from crossing, so we need to have a real emphasis on, on dealing with that. Um, but we had opportunities. We went on a 3v2 on 89 minutes on the clock, and we didn't work the goalkeeper. So it's about having better quality in our moments and managing their moments. And, yeah, it's been a really productive week. We need to really double down on what's being asked of the team tomorrow and... Go and get a win on the board. However that looks, go and get a win on the board. And that's something that we've addressed and spoken about this week. Yeah. And how did the, the you know, obviously it was, it's always um, disappointing to lose in the last minute, but how have the squad reacted to that? Have have you seen a, you know, willingness to train and, and try and um, get a win uh, tomorrow? That's never changed. Win, lose or draw, that's never changed. The boys come into work every single day, willing to work, willing to improve, wanting to improve that's never changed i'll never question that um what we need to be better at is managing the game we spoke about in the summary we've gone away from 32.4 being our average age to under 28 now and we used to win games last year with now some knowledge i genuinely believe we're a better side this year we've got more productivity we've got more quality but we are younger and that comes with not having the nous and the experience. So these are things that we need to really improve on. But the boys come in every day wanting to work hard, giving everything to myself and this football club. That's never in question. We need to just implement what we did in the early stages of the game against Barnet and the latter stages against Barnet and try and put that over a longer period in the game. If we do that, I think we can cause them problems. Yes, they have their strengths. Yes, they're on a good run of form. But it's a return leg in a derby. We need to ensure that we're right on it. And like I said, come three o'clock tomorrow, it's all about the win. Yeah, and obviously back at um, LB Bet Stadium, Meadow Park tomorrow, after, you know, we haven't been played there uh, with all the postponements. Are you look, looking forward to being back in front of our home ground in a RB as well? A hundred percent. Really excited. Obviously, big test for us. Um, it's a big week for us. Barnet at home, Accrington at home. I hope that the crowd come out in their numbers to back us 
We need everyone. Like I said to you, we can't have it where things are going all nice and rosy and we're all running on that. We need everyone when it's a dog fight to come out and back us. And we need a loud voice tomorrow because trust me, they are massive to what we achieve. They're huge to everything we're about as a team. So let's hope we come out in our numbers and we can go and put on a performance to warrant a win in the derby.